Hey guys, this is Casper. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Third Dimension, where imagination meets reality. First of all, thanks to all of you guys for giving me so much love for my videos and my hard work. I have received so many good comments and so much love from you guys. I appreciate all of your time and effort for giving me so much love. Now, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the initial and the running costs of the 3D printer. So the initial and the running costs of 3D printing can vary significantly depending upon various factors including the type of 3D printer, the material you're gonna use and how frequently you're gonna use it. So here is a breakdown. I have divided this cost into two categories. First is the initial cost and the second is the running cost. So for the initial cost, you have to buy a 3D printer which can be vary from few hundred dollars to few thousand dollars depending upon what size of the models do you want, what type of quality do you want and what filaments are you gonna use. There are many good companies like Creality, Bamboo and other companies which makes affordable and good printers. The second one is the filament and the resins. So you will need to purchase printing material which can cost anywhere from $20 to $100 or more per kilogram depending upon the type and the quality. There are many filaments in the market and there are many companies as well. Filaments such as PLA, ABS and PETG, they are easy to find but there could be different filaments like gold or metal that you might use in your 3D printing. Now, the third is the accessories. So normally the printer always comes with the basic accessory such as printer itself, or operating unit and some sort of filament or resin. But if you want to do some additional work, you have to buy some accessories such as a recording camera, a good nozzle, a good quality building plates or specialized tool to add more quality or to save more time while printing. Now, the fourth and the last one is the software. There are various 3D softwares which you can use for your 3D printers. While most of them are pretty basic and they are free, but if you want to go deep and you want to get a good software, then you might have to spend some money on it as well. So, that's all makes the initial costs. Now, let me tell you about the running cost. First is the material. The ongoing preliminary cost includes the material that you're gonna use for your printing. The cost always depends on the size your model is and the complexity and the quality of your model. As I said, PLA is a pretty basic material that almost everybody is used for their 3D printing. And if you want some good quality, you can either change the material or you can change the settings of your printer to get the good quality. Second is energy. So running a 3D printer can consume more electricity. The costs depend on your location and the energy efficiency of your printer. The third one is the maintenance. 3D printers they are very easy to clean, very easy to maintain. But some of the high level printers, you might need to do some maintenance from time to time to keep the quality and the maintaining of the printer in a good condition. So, all in all, it's important to note that while the initial costs can be substantial, the running costs can vary widely based on usage. Infrequent hobbyists use will have lower running costs as compared to continuous use in a professional or manufacturing settings. To get a better estimate of the costs, it's advisable to research specific 3D printers, material and softwares you plan to use and consider your intended application and usage frequency. So guys, here I have given you all the information about the costs that related to the 3D printing. If you like my content, please like, subscribe and comment on my video and keep showing me your love so that I can keep creating more and more useful videos for you. Thank you guys and see you soon again.